My name is Mark Jezinoski. I'm here with the San Diego Art Journal. Who am I speaking to? Uh, Rich Walker. Rich Walker. Rich Walker, just tell us a little bit about yourself. About me? Uh, probably one of the oldest guys probably <laughs> currently doing art here in San Diego, but uh, I really feel youthful about it. You know, I don't really approach it in that, like, I've actually got an so age to determine. I'm working on a uh, new series of uh, work where um, I'm doing a one-foot-by-one-foot one foot painting every day, and uh, at the end of the week I'll have seven of them, and I'll run them in the same series like this, and it'll be distinct, uh, each one, and uh, at the end of the year I'll have 52 of them, so I'm hoping to show those all as one show. So I want to show my 209 works in this particular regard. So this is my more recent, or so the, the project that I'm personally working on that I'm so excited about. Now, Rich, I, I've gotten to know you pretty well, and I feel like we could talk for a couple hours, but let's narrow it down. Can you tell me a little bit about why you started painting? Uh, painting has always seemed to be something I just do, you know, and it's uh, to say I started uh, wouldn't be accurate to say that I, that I just made it more part of my life than have started or stopped. So more becoming you than actually just deciding to start Right, right. So like in that sense where, you know, we, we always paint, we, we always should, and everybody should be creative in a, in a manner that's theirs or com they're comfortable with. And this seems to be what I'm decided to focus on. Something I like the most about your painting is your process. Could you tell us a little bit about your process? Well, the process for me is, uh, you know, I usually just find the, 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 a moment of tranquility or a moment of peace in my, in my thinking. And then I start applying colors in, in that manner that I like with it, the depth and then the movement and once it finds a like a once I find a setting or not really so much a setting but a, a where that piece starts to feel like it's coming alive then I start to get specific about what I'm doing and how I'm how I'm adding to that and it, when I look at your work I see a lot of maturity in it because there's so many layers and there's maturity. a maturity <laughs> not not gray maturity but <laughs> maturity and authenticity I see a lot of depth in it and I see that You've really had a lot of experience with the painting you do. You didn't just start doing this yesterday. You've been right, really right. working on this for quite a long time. To say that, like, I, I know I've made mistakes with the paints, and that's been a learning process, you know, and, and to, uh, it's funny, and like like you, you're very specific about your some of your paintings. You know, it's, it's very traditional, very specific, and uh, that's wonderful to know we have that skill set. But this is so liberating in, in that thing where... Uh, you can't tell me I did anything wrong to this. This is simply something that I'm doing because it's something I'm doing. But if I were to be, you know, if I painted a house and it was your house, you would say, nah, you missed it. You know, it, it, it's supposed to be a bigger or smaller house. So this is, for me, it's the idea that in life, everybody's always telling each and every other person that they meet that they've done something wrong. You know, and the, hey, you didn't do that right. You didn't do that correctly. So in this kind of work, I'm just simply... I'm simply doing what, what I feel I want to, and I'm expressing it with paint. That's great, expressing your choice, your right to choose. It's my right to do what I want. All right. So you and I, we run into each other all the time. Right. You're very active in the San Diego art community. Could you tell us what you think about being an artist, an emerging artist? I don't even know if I'd call you emerging because you've emerged. And, but what do you think about the emerging San Diego art scene? Yeah, well, I'll definitely say that it's, it's becoming its own entity. And you and I both, we've talked about this in the, in the past, where there's so many artists now, and not even so many artists, but just the artists that are out there working are, are specific and they're dedicated to it. It's, uh, you know, a lot of times a lot of people are just putting out products in frames and saying, hey, I'm an artist. It doesn't really equate, but now people are risking what they're comfortable with, you know, they're putting out, out, out different products and different things and thinking about it and, and, and separating themselves from the herd. And I really see that occurring here in San Diego as of late. I mean, I would almost say even in the last two years, there's been this real sort of embracement of art in San Diego. And uh, there's, you know, specific little neighborhoods, and it really feels like it's going to uh, really take a, a strong foothold. Yeah. Anyone you want to give a little shout out to that's been supportive of you in this <laughs> well, process? Well, here, right here in the gas lamp, I mean, Trish Teller and Heather, uh, uh, Jimmy Parker, they put together this event here in the gas lamp. Uh, this is the second year they've done it, and it's young artists, uh, some established, so forth, but uh, 
it's a free event. People can come down and see. Now, you can see people in a, in a street setting like this, or you can go into some of the uptown venues where people are, uh, you know, you can go into like a restaurant or a hotel and see the art set into its location. So it's kind of diverse in that, like where some of those events we work, we're either in a bar and only, or we're in a, a setting or a street setting. It doesn't have any other carryover thing. So it's really kind of a, a nice event. I like this. And it's they say it's going to continue on annually. So they want it to compete with maybe the Art Walk and so forth. And we've done the Super Sunday events, which is now on Wednesday nights. Jill Johnson's been very supportive. Uh, Sugar River, those guys. So, I mean, there's a lot of real nice events that are Again, not just art, but music, tying in some of the, the clothing, some of the jewelry. So it's really expressive. Yeah, really, if you want to go out any given night in San Diego, you can find an event with live painting, yeah. with the emerging art scene being, rep being represented in San Diego. So if you're going to go have a beer, why not go have a beer and see people painting while you're doing it? You never know what's going to happen, right? <laughs> That's right. Um, so, Rich, how many, you show all over San Diego. How many venues are you showing at currently? Currently, probably like seven or eight. And it's, uh, I'm diligent. I just get out there and try to do as much as I can. But uh, uh, California Cuisine up on University, uh, 1127 University. I have worked there through the month of, uh, through the month of May. And then uh, Yogar, they're going to take their two locations. I'll be showing work there. Fiji Yogurt, uh, Last Call, um, Kate Ross on occasion, Chiropractic. So there's several different locations, but my website, rawartdesign.net, uh, has all the locations listed. So it's a, uh, I'm diligent. It's the word I use is diligent about pr producing work and getting it out there to be seen. I want people to get a hold of you. No stalkers, hopefully, but how do you want people to get a hold of you? Stalkers, only good looking. Uh, info at rawartdesign.net would be the direct uh, email address. So. Thank you very much, Rich.